ask, those are the aim of affairs of our party today. What exactly is the offense of Governor Fubara or River State? Let me ask again. What exactly is the offense of this gentleman that so many others of our party are trying to throw him under the bus because of political expediency? What exactly is going on that some party members don't feel bothered about the happenings in River State? Governor Fubara was helped by Governor Wiki to become the number one citizen of the oil-bearing state. The governor himself acknowledged this on several occasions. Must the governor now behave like a slave to his predecessor? And other characters, because of this concept of godfatherism, which is a misnomer in our own politics. Why are some party members encouraging his predecessor to bring him down? He is in Abuja. He wants to control what goes on in River State. If he does not have his way, he is ready to adopt the biblical Samson Swedal option. The governors before him behave this way. Why are the party leaders not eager to mediate and bring both groups to normalcy? If we cannot continue like this, why can't we learn from our past mistakes? Is our party jinxed? Why can't we tell all these troublemakers to go and sit down if they don't want this party to move forward? The other day, we can boast it openly and threaten governors but by saying, I will put fire in your state. I will put fire in your state. If the APC-led government that he is working for refuse to sanction him for acts capable of causing insurrection in Nigeria, why can't the PDP penalize him? Papa Alex Ekweme and others started this party as G14 and G34. They laid a solid foundation for the PDP. He contested and lost against former president of Olusha Gorbachev twice. Despite that, he did not threaten anybody. He did not work for the opposition. Instead, Papa ensured that this party remained strong till he died. And some of us promised him that we will not allow anything or anybody to destroy this party. Divided house can never win. You cannot sleep soundly when you have snakes in your bedroom. This is exactly the situation in PDP today. Nigerians are angry and hungry. Instead of telling the APC the truth, some divisive, arrogant, and haughty members are busy romancing the ruling party. And they are quick to refer to themselves as elder statesmen. Elder statesmen. From where to where? Instead of instigating crisis in our party, why are they not bold enough to defect to APC? Do they really fear God at all? Remember, is big enough to hold the party to ransom. Never. My advice to Wiki is very simple. You are my son a political son. I am therefore appealing to him to cool off immediately. I know he was injured by friends during the last PDP presidential conference. But I'm advising him as a father to please take it easy. Nobody is bigger than anybody. 
forget what happened in the past, and let us work together in the interest of this party. Now to Atiku, my advice is this. You will be 81 years old in 2027, and you have been contesting for the presidency since 1993. This is the time for you to come down and act like an elder. I appeal to you in the name of the almighty Allah that you serve, to take it easy and leave everything for posterity. We are where we are today because of self-inflicted crisis. We should bury our individual ambition now and not allow the PDP to crumble. Please, elders of the party should tell some of these funny characters to pull off and think of our national interest instead of their personal interest.